Hey all you skincare addicts, what is up? It's Shandera and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. And in today's video, we are exposing your favorite skincare products according to Allure. Um, some of them I review, so I'm curious, is Allure copying my channel? Oh, Laura, are you looking at my channel to write these lists up? Because like half of these products I reviewed, but I'm not, I'm not going to go there. I'm not even <laughs> I'm not gonna even go there because I know some of y'all gonna dislike this video. So the first product we are exposing is the K Somerville Exfoliate. The 1.7 ounces of this will run you $85. I didn't know you guys like bougie products like that. I am shocked. I always thought like everybody always said it was expensive because when I did the review, y'all were telling me it was expensive. So is a lure lying? Or is it expensive? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm just curious what you guys think about it. I'm going to use a really thin layer. I'm almost done with this product and it is really expensive. But you guys, this is a really great product. So y'all are on to something. But the comments on the video when I reviewed this video were like, this is really expensive. So, is Allure just making up this as we go? We want answers, Allure. The people want to know. Because the people come to my channel and let me know it's too expensive. So, who are these people? Allure talking to the rich people. I told you rich people be on a whole nother way than me and you. You know, us here who, you know, we barely afford it and we go and get our little mini samples for like $14 and lasts us two years even though it's expired. <laughs> so this is what it looks like after two minutes once you apply a thin layer. When I did the video I applied a way way more than a thin layer and this is what I have to say. If this is a thin layer and you've used this product this is exactly why your products are not working this is too thin of a layer um i feel the tingling sensation but it's not really as tingling as it usually is when i use way more this what what's going on <sighs> this is a great product but this thin layer is botch the house so use more this is perfect for people with sensitive skin and since i don't have sensitive skin i need way more than this so the next product y'all really love the most and it is the ordinary's hyaluronic acid did y'all just miraculously forget that this pill y'all <laughs> I didn't know this was you guys favorite hyaluronic acid because when I reviewed this oh wait a few drops let me stop few there we go so that's like three drops right there <laughs> so, when I reviewed this hyaluronic acid uh, the last time it peeled and flaked so I don't know what's going on with y'all who read Allure I didn't know y'all liked this. I thought we were all on inky list hyaluronic acid train. Well, apparently I'm wrong. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> good luck with it, but I don't know what you guys mean dewy and not sticky. This stuff is botched. <laughs> it's always botched. It's always sticky. It doesn't make the skin dewy. What are you thinking? <laughs> I can't believe y'all still like this product. After I did a side-by-side -side comparison of this product, y'all still like it. I, I can't, I don't know why do I do these videos. Let me do a close-up just so I can show you how botched this product is. So this is what my skin looks like after the Ordinary's Hyperotic Acid Serum. Um, flake, flake, little pill right here. Um, botched right here. Come on, I have to make sure the college is it's still not dewy, it's still sticky. What are y'all talking about? I told you guys to get the inky list hyaluronic acids. Y'all don't listen to me. Why do I do these videos? If I read Allure, y'all talking about y'all love the ordinary hyaluronic acids. I can't with y'all. <laughs> The next product we are going to talk about is Olay Harris's Banana Bright Eye Cream. 0.5 ounces of this cream 
is $39. 0.5 ounces. I knew y'all were bougie. I knew I had a bougie audience. <laughs> but this just cuts the cake. Y'all really like this banana bright eye cream for $39. This is pretty pricey for 0.5 ounces. Apparently you guys go bananas for it. The next product y'all really love is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. Oh my God, I shook it. So I can't use this because I did shake it and I did have a, a breakout. And you are supposed to only use it at nighttime. But what I normally do with it is I'll put it on my breakout for 10 minutes and then wash it off. I said it wasn't a bad product, but I personally didn't care for it because it did have talc in it. Apparently, I was a conspiracy theorist. Um, tin foil hat wearing person for Sam because it didn't have talc. I didn't like it. But when other people who probably saw my video and I said it when they said it, oh, y'all decided not to like the product. The same thing happened with the Rose Stayers toner. I said I didn't like it. I got tons of dislikes. When everybody else with the bigger following said they didn't like it after me, y'all went bananas and said, oh, we are so happy. But when I said it, it was a problem once again. <laughs> Why do I do these videos? Because y'all just don't listen to me. <laughs> and this is proof. <laughs> I just had a change of heart. You guys really do listen to me. You guys love me. I can't believe they included Tatcha the water cream. You guys know how much I love this. Some of y'all don't listen to me because you know I got a lot of backlash on my Tatcha versus Neutrogena video and I said Tatcha was better. Look, y'all could buy samples. The samples are real cheap. Buy the samples, you know, keep it, and this is exactly what you do. I'm gonna teach you if you are on a budget how to use your skincare and get the full effects of it with the Tatcha water cream. Mist your face just like this. Bam, 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 bam. Now this is just for you real bougie people. Uh, normally I don't use this, but I'm doing it for you bougie, uh, for the bougie girls today. Take the little gold slide or pearl size amount. This may be a little bit too much for some of you guys, but this is what my pearl size amount looks like. Now pearls come in different sizes. You can use a pea size pearl. I like to think of me as having big, big, big pearls. So this is why I'm using this amount. What you do with the spatula, there's a lot of cream on that spatula left. Look it, make sure you get that. None of the expensive products can go to waste. They are sometimes treats and luxuries. Look at bam, bam, bam. Now this will go all over your skin. You won't feel that water slip and it will just glide, honey, and glide. The next product you guys really do love is the Unseen Sunscreen. Um, I have a review on this using it with me, Josh and Sonomi did go to the lake and I reviewed this product. Um, that's been about a year and a half ago. So I think it's almost coming up on two years when we went to the lake to review this product because Sonomi was one at the time and she was such a cute baby in the video. Um, now she body trained and everything else. With that being said, you guys, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> I'm scared to use it because the last time I used it, it really broke me out. And I was a religious devotee of this. I used to buy this a lot. But now I'm really scared to use it. It gave me like many red dots on my face. And when I put this in products uh, that I don't use anymore, or products that are horrible, you guys actually agree with me on this. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to try it again today and I'll update you guys on how it does. I will update. So we are going to see. And then I'm going to be mad you missed, you wasted my $54 Tatcha water cream with this box sunscreen. You guys really do listen to me. I mean, I thought this video was going to go left, but this is ending on a high note. You guys listen to me. 
I can't believe you guys really take my words seriously. I'm just so happy we're all skincare addicts together in this game. With that being said, you guys, it's the Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask. Um, I have a real versus fake one. Please don't go get the fake one. That's all I have to say. If you get the fake one and you love it, um, when you actually do decide to get the real one, you will notice complete different textures. I always say do the paper test. I use this morning, noon, night. Honey, I go out the house with this on when it's really cloudy, not sunny, because I need the SPF for the lips. With that being said, you guys, uh, let's do a close up. You you see the flake? Wait, hold on. Y'all see what did y'all see? What what is that? That's a flake. Okay. That's from the Ordinary's product. Um, botch, like I said, y'all don't listen. Y'all really love that stuff. You know what, you guys? <laughs> we have a lot to discuss, so let's talk about it. I learned a lot. I learned you guys are very bougie, like real, real bougie. But every time I turn around, if I review a product, it's always oh, too expensive for me. But then Allure saying y'all love the little expensive stuff. Honestly, you know what? In hindsight. I could see that these products are not as expensive as to what I'd be reviewing because I'd be reviewing La Mer. So, you know, compared to La Mer, <laughs> those are cheap. <laughs> I'm happy you guys listen to me when it comes to certain products. Certain products, y'all just undermine me and undercut me whenever you can. <laughs> With that being said, you guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. Which are your favorite products? Which ones you have? Which ones you don't have? Which ones broke out your skin? Please let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in our next video. Bye you guys. Mwah.